like about time right <laughs> y'all don't come and fight me okay don't come and fight me um i know it's been a minute i know you guys have been expecting content from me and i am trying like don't get me wrong What's up you guys, it's your girl Dominique and I'm back with another video. Like, about time, right? <laughs> Y'all, don't come and fight me, okay? Don't come and fight me. Um, I know it's been a minute, I know you guys have been expecting content from me. And I am trying, like don't get me wrong, I am trying. But anyways, I'm here with an announcement to let you guys know like what's been going on what's been happening where have i been so there's a little baby in there and that's pretty much where i've been what i've been doing i'm now six months pregnant at the moment and I'm just now pretty much getting to that place where I'm like you know able to work again able to create content again you know actually feeling like maybe editing videos and doing stuff again and I just wanted to give you guys an update because I do want to include more um pregnancy content but I don't want to just throw it up there and not let y'all know like what's going on where I've been and what's been happening right now I am in the U.S. Um, I actually came to the U.S. back in December to visit my family for the holidays and I'm still here yeah <laughs> I am still here my husband and I we actually found out about the pregnancy before I left which was in November was it in November yeah I think it was in November that we found out and so um, I did get to experience going to the doctor in Nigeria and um, you know all that jazz so I'm going to put a clip in so you guys can see what it was like you know for our first when we first found out good morning beautiful people it's your girl Dominique and I'm back with another video so guys okay so here's the deal right I haven't had a period or my period is late for four days right and so we actually were trying say hey hello i'm <laughs> speechless right now so we actually were trying like like oh my god since like for the past like six months oh my god. and <laughs> you know at some point i was just like okay god i don't want to keep trying and then <laughs> you know it's coming up negative the pregnancy tests were coming up negative and we turned out we weren't pregnant but it was just so much anxiety for me like every month you know what i'm saying just waiting for my period and apparently the anxiety is now <gasps> ah I'm gonna be your daddy I'm gonna be your guys daddy. I'm pregnant I'm gonna be your daddy <laughs> This is our first <laughs> This is our first test. Okay, so it's a P test. Whoa. We're gonna take another test in the morning so that we're short and we're also gonna go get a blood test from the pharmacy. But guys it's looking like I'm going to be a mommy. Hey, I'm, going be I'm going to be a yummy mommy. I'm going to be a daddy. I'm going to be a daddy. I'm going to be a daddy. The okay is plus one. <laughs> Do you know this is like or the biggest two. dream come true right now? Like, 
People could not have a baby. I know. I'll add a clip in there in this video too. And also for our first prenatal visit. Alright guys. So we are here. Oh, the hospital for our very first prenatal. Prenatal. Can you believe it? <laughs> Oh, See that again. Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna be there. Are you gonna be there? We are six weeks today. Okay. Or six weeks this week, rather. Sorry, what's the difference between antenatal and prenatal? If you know, drop a okay. comment below because we don't know. Because I tell my wife saying that it's not I think prenatal is before 12 weeks in the first trimester. Antenatal is after 12 weeks. I think it's after 12 weeks. Please, answer for us. Uh, just leave a comment down there. Thank you. It's a really beautiful journey though because first of all we've never been pregnant before. Never. Never. If you know my story. I'm you know, telling my story. The Lord had to keep that room for me. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a link up at the top. You can check out my story. Oh my it had to be me alone. Okay, never. But I had to be the one to post. Money, please. Done. Anyway, catch you guys later. Peace. They don't take a blood today, Pina. How you feeling? We're gonna see our baby. Do I have to lay down? Yes. Can we do the top two? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I use this. This is an hospital, come on. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Oh my gosh, she's nervous. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. 
I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. a year ago. have some questions that I'm going to answer so I have shared some you know stories and different things like that on Instagram I did make an announcement back when I found out um, we have been pretty private about the whole thing just because my husband is a lot more private than I am me I want to share this experience with you guys because if you know my story with PCOS and dealing with some infertility then you know pretty much how important this is with for me and this is something that i wanted to share with other people who have connected with me um because of pcos or you know just people out there in general that are waiting to have children who may be dealing with the same thing and that's what i'm here to do i'm here to share things with you guys so that you know if you are going through it maybe i can be an inspiration or we can you know you need some support or whatever the case may be so i'm going to be dropping pregnancy content here and there so if there is anything in particular that you guys are looking for make sure to leave a comment below and i can work on making a video for you guys but yeah i do have some questions that i'm going to answer so yeah i just want to say before i get into this um you know answering these questions like i love you guys genuinely from the bottom of my heart like you guys have been supporting me through this whole journey like since moving to africa and getting married and you know this whole experience you guys have been supporting me and i just want to say thank you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you i think right now i have a video or yeah the video that i put up when i first got to legos is like up to 6k views and it's just like wow 6,000 people over 6,000 people have watched that video and you know the feedback is amazing you guys are always asking me questions and leaving your comments and even though i may not get to them right away you know i do answer every single comment or question you guys can always email me you can reach out to me on instagram you know i'm i'm very open and 
if you guys want to talk to me you know I, you can always reach out to me but anyways someone was asking how does it feel being back in the u.s after being abroad for a year i'm reading these off my phone so yeah so when i first got back to the states it was kind of hard for me um i'm not gonna say like too it wasn't like super hard but it was almost like i had to make an adjustment again like being away for a whole year and you know coming back there were certain things that were kind of different i almost didn't know my way around like my hometown <laughs> which was kind of funny because you know but yeah it's just it's just like just things were different i guess okay before i left and when i first found out i was pregnant i had already been dealing with cravings right so a lot of the stuff that i was craving was like american foods so it's it was so weird to be craving american foods like while i was in nigeria and then once i got over here to america i started uh craving nigerian foods so that was kind of like the biggest adjustment for me is just like having those cravings for the nigerian or our african foods and not having it be so accessible to me where i can just you know go to a restaurant i mean they, we, we have restaurants here in my hometown columbia south carolina but um most of them are like ghanaian or i think the other one is like ethiopian so stuff like the agusi and stuff like that that i have been craving just was not there for me and yeah i didn't come with my husband so um you know he wasn't there to cook any food for me and yeah that was an adjustment and um also too because the covid situation was a bit different you know coming back to the u.s they had um they still had all like the mask mandates and stuff like that so i had to come back to the u.s wear masks you know do all these protocols and it's like in nigeria it just was not like that like i was we were already done wearing masks and stuff like that so it wasn't like a big deal and then you come here and it's like oh my god everybody still has covid <laughs> so yeah that was pretty much the biggest adjustment coming back to the u.s how far along am i i've already answered that i am six months so as of right now i'm 24 weeks which I don't know i get to i have like a bunch of different pregnancy apps and one of them says that i'm five months still and the other one says i'm six months so i don't know but i'm going with six months <laughs> so the baby is actually due in july so my due date is in july so yeah right now we're just going with six months what are my symptoms i do want to do like a separate video of the symptoms that i've been experiencing like through my first trimester and you know my second trimester and you know these different things that i've been experiencing for each trimester because that's my way of like recording my experience i guess this is my first child so i've never you know experienced these sort of things and it has been an adjustment like the reason why i haven't been here or doing anything i haven't been on instagram i haven't been doing anything because the first trimester tried to take me out y'all like for real like your girl was down like <laughs> i mean yeah that's a topic for another video so i'm definitely gonna do a pregnancy symptom video if you'd like to see it make sure to give this video a thumbs up and i know to continue on doing the pregnancy content but yeah i'm gonna do that in a separate video will i be giving birth in the u.s yes i will be giving birth in the u.s um, that was a part of the reason of why I even left Nigeria in the first place. I thought about having birth there in Nigeria, but um, because this is my first child, I did want to come back to be with my family, you know, be with my support system that I have considering that, you know, my husband you know i have i have his family too but you know i'm still getting to know them as we've only been married for a year and a half um so you know i wanted to be around my family and be around my support system and also because yeah uh 
I can get free health care here. Not to say that I can't get health care in Nigeria. They do have health care programs. It's just that we didn't have health care at the time. So, you know, like for our first for our first prenatal visit, we had to pay out of pocket. For that so um we just decided that it would be best for me to just come over here during the pregnancy that way my daughter's appointments and all that stuff like that would be free um and i can and i can have the baby here and not have to worry about paying an outrageous medical bill or something like that yeah so will my husband be here for the birth um like i stated before he's not here right now um we are trying to get him here for the birth it just seems to be a long process so you know i'm not sure we're not sure at the moment if he's gonna be here if he's not you know we're keeping our fingers crossed praying about it and you know continuing to have hope that god will make it happen for us for him to be here for the birth of his child because this is also his first child but you know if not then it's like hey we have to we have to roll with the punches we have to you know go with what what god has for us and trust his plan do i know what i'm having yes i know what i'm having and um <laughs> i will be posting a gender reveal separately i do um have a gender reveal video that i will be posting separate um from this and you guys can get so if you're a teen boy, you think it's a boy, give this video a green heart um, in the comment section. If you think it's a girl and you're a teen girl, give this video a orange heart in the comment section and let me know what you think. And then we'll see who's right, you know, on the gender reveal. So <laughs> we also have a name for the baby. Um, however, in Nigerian culture, it is a... A traditional custom that they have a naming ceremony um seven days i believe it is after the baby is born so right now we will not be you know putting our baby's name out there until after the baby is born what are some differences with having a baby in the u.s compared to africa someone asked this question and the thing is i don't know you know i've never had a child in in an african country so i can't really attest to that um what i was thinking about doing though is doing a video with one of my friends in nigeria who actually just had a baby so if i can get that put together then you know i'll kind of do like a q a of the differences or we'll do like a comparison of the differences or whatever to see you know what's different the main thing that i can say just from my own experience with going to the doctor there is that um i know here in the u.s they usually start their prenatal care at like six weeks but over there in nigeria they were saying that like it was too early for me to be coming to the doctor because my my first appointment was i think i was like five weeks <laughs> So, um, you know, they were saying that basically I was too early to be coming to the doctor and I think their stuff doesn't start until 12 weeks. So they don't start their like prenatal stuff until 12 weeks. Mm. Sorry, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting tired already. <laughs> That's a pregnancy symptom, definitely just being tired all the time. But um yeah, so that's pretty much it. Also, like I said, they do have health care. Um we didn't have health care, so we had to pay out of pocket. So that's I guess another difference between having a child over there to compare it to in the US. Um having to pay out of pocket and yeah, so far I mean that's pretty much all that I know I look into doing a video after giving birth here in the US and see if my friend wants to do a video with me um, about giving birth in Nigeria so yeah we'll see what happens but that's pretty much all I have for you guys yeah I just wanted to come and say like thank you for like I said supporting me continue to watch my videos continue to share my videos um, continue to share my story you know um, I'm here for you guys you know I get a lot of 
Nigerian wifeys <laughs> um, that reach out to me, you know, and I understand, you know, I, I, I completely understand what it's like to marry somebody from a different culture or to have to be away from, you know, your husband for a long period of time. So I'm here for support. You know, that was something that I was looking for when I first decided to get married to a Nigerian and you know I didn't really have too many people that I could reach out to or know people that I could reach out to who are married to Nigerians or you know in intercultural relationships and have that sort of like support system somebody that knows what you're going through and yeah I'm here for you guys like I may not be on youtube or on instagram or you know on social media all the time because you know this is a moment that i want to cherish you know um like i said this is my first child so yeah but feel free to reach out to me send me an email send me a comment a dm whatever let your girl know what's up you know you just want to check in with me I did have a person check in with me and I want to give her props. I don't know what her name is, but I posted something. I was, I'm in these like travel groups in Facebook and I shared one of my videos and sis called me out and was like, ma'am, you have not done any videos. Where are you at? <laughs> so if you watching this right now, shout out to you because you are the reason why I'm even doing this video right now. Like. I'm sorry I, I, I have to update y'all and keep y'all in the know of like what's going on where I'm at so thanks for keeping me motivated um you guys are going to be aunties yes yeah, so you guys are going to be internet aunties and uncles so <laughs> um yeah again I love y'all thank y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video peace